Nico Horner gets a contract extension with the Chicago Cubs. They've reportedly re-signed him to a three-year, $35 million deal. The deal would buy the final two years of arbitration eligibility and one year of free agency. Has a reputation for being a very good defensive shortstop. He's being moved to second base after the Cubs, of course, signed Dansby Swanson. During the offseason, he hit 281, 10 home runs, 55 RBI with 20 steals and a career-high 135 games in 2022. So congratulations are in order for him. Some bad news, though, coming out of Guardians camp. We hate to see this one. Tristan McKenzie had to leave his start on Sunday after just one inning. He was diagnosed with a right shoulder strain. He's going to be shut down from throwing for two weeks and could need up to eight weeks to return to the rotation. He was such a bright spot in the rotation last season for the Guardians. He had been scheduled to start the second game of the season for them in Seattle, but now Zach Plesak or Hunter Gaddis are among several candidates to replace him in the rotation. And it's strange if you think about it. The Guardians have a history of this particular injury. It's the same injury that cost reliever James Karinchek about half of the season last year. Emmanuel Classe also suffered a similar injury in 2020. When asked whether it was better that the injury happened this early, Francona said there's probably never a good time to lose a really good pitcher. But strangely, and I've tried to figure this out in a weird way, something kicks in and I say, OK, we'll figure this out. Terry Francona is the man to do it if, in fact, there is ever a situation, Chris, when you lose a guy like Tristan McKenzie, who was such an integral part of the rotation last year, Tito's got to be the guy that gets the job done. Now listen, I got a lot of confidence in him out in the front office, but this is a huge injury. I mean, that's all there is to it. This guy's a good pitcher. He pitched the playoff game last year against Tampa. He pitched against the Yankees. This is a big hit. Now, you know, eight weeks, they're going to be careful with him, so it's probably going to even be more than that. They're going to have to go rev him up again, uh, ramp him up again in minor league baseball. Uh, some starts before he's ready to go. They will be careful. You may not see him until, you know, middle of June. I mean, this is a... And, they don't, and listen, the division's not that difficult, so they'll be able to, you know, plug along and they'll be able to, you know, duct tape it and everything else. But the Guardians are the Guardians, and they don't have the wherewithal to withstand these kind of hits, especially with their pitching staff, and they're a pitching-oriented team. So this is a big blow. This is That's a huge injury. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, they're over-under number. Uh, it's 86 and a half because of this injury. I, if I wanted the over, I'd lay low. That's how important this injury is. If you wanted yeah, the over the Guardians at 86 and a half, you pass now. You don't take it. You don't take it now. I you wonder can't. what the numbers are in Vegas now that uh, Tristan McKenzie is on the shelf. I hate this for this kid. Well, love the way that he pitches, love the way that he goes about his business, but it is. It's a big blow. Uh, a lot more hanging on the arm of Shane Bieber now. All right, some good news to end the RZA report. Congratulations are in order to Sergio Romo. He signed a contract with the Giants, which allowed him to make one final appearance with the team. It was so awesome to see him come out of the bullpen yesterday to his famous song. He was a member of all three of the Giants championship teams in game four of the 2012 World Series after Marco Scudero drove in the go ahead run in the top of the 10th inning. Romo struck out the side in the bottom of the inning to close out the series. He ended the World Series by getting Miguel Cabrera to strike out looking. Romo spent nine of his 15 Major League seasons with the Giants. He was named to the All-Star team in 2013. He holds the franchise record by pitching in 27 postseason games. It's so cute to see this last day of school for Sergio Romo, last day of professional MLB pitcher. He loves the fact that his teachers were Rags and Guardy and Bochi. He wants to be a senior PGA Tour golfer when he grows up. His school was AT&T Park and Oracle Park. Congratulations, Sergio Romo. And his famous saying, Chris, was always, that's what's up. So that's what's up for Sergio Romo. This was really cool. Every time a kid asked Sergio Romo for an autograph in spring training, he asked them to sign his hat first. He wore this one to the mound tonight. That obviously is being tweeted. Um, just awesome for Sergio Romo to be able to uh, have that moment as a member of the San Francisco Giants where he spent so many of his best years, his good years as a pitcher, 15 seasons, and he is done. Yeah, a very, very good Giant reliever, very reliable through those sliders, uh, never afraid of the big moment, uh, and was very instrumental with that Giant bullpen. Uh, he was very good in that 2012. I'd have to go back and look at all the games again, but no Giant fan uh, thought that Romo was going to be scared on the mound. He was fearless. He didn't have that overpowering fastball. Remember, I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you something right now. I'm glad you brought it up.
the most important at bat in his career as a Giant, and I just thought of it, good job on your part, was Jay Bruce in Game 5 against the Reds in 2012. I believe he got Romo out. I think he got rolling out before that with a strikeout. I'd have to look at that ninth inning. Ninth inning at Great American Ballpark in 2012. Giants had a big lead. Reds came back. They had guys on base all over the place. And Romo pitched that ninth inning. I can have Lee look it up just to double check it. I'm and never, never going to question your got, memory. I believe he got Bruce to fly out the left field to end that. And, uh, and that would be never. That is correct. All right, there you go. Yeah, that is so correct. Bruce They're telling first, me that that is and correct. Then and then Scott Rowland struck out yeah. to end the game. Struck out. And, and remember, yeah. remember, that was the, the, the Giants are the, they might still be the only team. The Giants are the only team in best of five history to go on the road after losing the on first win, two yep. games to win three straight and win three win straight. Win three straight. And they that, did that it that I did year, know. I remember and that. And Romo was important. And Romo was important. Congratulations and he struck to Sergio Romo. struck out to end it. Struck low one. Yep. There you go. Yes. Yes, he did.